I've got this carburetor which I've just received and it's pretty dirty. Now I don't want to start rebuilding it for now at least. Um, I'm happy just to, to clean it up so it looks presentable. Um, so say so this is exactly as, as I received it and all I've done is I've covered it in WD-40 just to soften any of the dirt and also to if anything might be a little bit sticky to help unstick it a little bit. Um, so what I'd normally do is I'd just hit it hard with a, a hard brush and some degreaser uh, and we'd clean it up and make it look as nice as we can without stripping it down and doing a proper job. Um, however, I was in little of the day and I spotted one of these, uh, which is a steam cleaner. So I've never used one before, I've never seen one being used before, um, and I have no idea what kind of job it was going to do on its own. Um, but I was kind of curious to see if it can be used basically to clean up an old skanky carb. Um, when I was when I bought it, I was actually thinking about cleaning old gearboxes and stuff and getting you know, we get that really heavy thick built up of grease on there which you have to start poking off with screwdrivers and stuff. I was hoping that might just melt off a bit easier. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna try it on the, the carburetor, see how it cleans it up, um, and give it a quick review I guess. Basically, it kind of just moves the oil around a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the degreaser on it now. I'm going to degrease it with the brushes that normally would do. But what this does do, as you've noticed, is it gets right into nooks and crannies. So they're really awkward to get to places, which uh, even with a, a toothbrush are pretty tricky. I've noticed it's blasted out all that, that yuck that's out of there. So it's not cleaned it off as such, but it's helped move it somewhere where you might be able to clean it. Just the old toothbrush, that'll do the job. Right, so the degreaser and the toothbrush, done the most of the heavy work. I'm just going to jet it over the uh, steam cleaner to I'll just take anything else off. I'm going to say, it doesn't look super clean, certainly not shiny, but it's taken a lot of that dirt and grime off and the steam's really got into the, the little nooks and crannies quite well. It doesn't clean it off as such, but it does say it helps remove it out of the, uh, out the tight little holes so you can at least get to it with the, the toothbrush then to clean it off. So, uh, I'm not saying it's a good thing to buy, I don't think it's actually done a great deal as such. So it's not improved in a, in, a, in a vast way. It's not revolutionary in garage tooling. Um, but I guess it's a nice little tool to help get in the nooks and crannies. But Well, it's not the car cleaning monster I was hoping it was going to be. I wonder what it will do well. I'm pretty sure it's designed for cleaning the mank out of the corner of showers. Useless. The advert said it was really good at doing curtains. So all you have to do is take this nozzle off, put this one on, and it turns this rather average car cleaning steamer into a curtain straightening machine. Seems it'll make frothy milk for a posh cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to drink it though. Ooh, frothy! 
Ugh, spilt it everywhere. But it looks good. I don't know if it's poisoned. Tastes alright. Looks like my wife's exploded out of a boot. <laughs> Where's it gone? <laughs> Think we'll be able to blow a hole through this mill teaser? Mm, no. Yes! Hey! Oh! Smoke machine, is it? It's now going to be a smoke machine. So, if you need an extension cable, you get quite a good long one on the uh, steam cleaner. It's probably about four meters. However, the steam cleaner, I think the only thing that's good for, in fact, it doesn't even fit in the bin very well. <laughs>